Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve right here today. We're talking about your pictures. So this is the series where you send us your photos, we critique them, I basically look at the helmet and I tell you what I think could be done better, what I like and don't like about it. Mm -hmm. Steve talks about the photo, what you can do better to make it more TikTok, Instagram, Facebook friendly. Yeah. So you get more thumbs up and likes and everybody likes that. Because that's all that matters, right? It's all that matters. <laughs> and if you, you want to be on this show, you got to email your photos to pics at greengridiron.com. Keep the photos coming. Get creative. Uh, it's almost getting to be the holiday, Thanksgiving, Christmas time. So think about that when you're setting up your photos. We have a couple of Halloween ones in here still because okay. it's the season. First up is Travis, and he says, hey guys, I was able to grab a few of my helmet builds and take them to Columbia for some pictures around William mm. Bryce. Uh, Jay and Steve, feel free to critique and give any advice. Well, for those of you not familiar with William Bryce, William Bryce is where the South Carolina Gamecocks play. Even though, and this is hard for me to say, they're, you know, they're Carolina helmets, uh, I think they're great. I think so too. This is, that, aw this, is an, this is an awesome collection. And there's a lot of things going on here in these helmets that are a combination of very unique and very well done. Yeah, like that visor. Yeah, so that is a Shock 1.0 visor that's got, I don't remember the name of the, of the, of the cock. It's, you got me. Uh, but I'm sure, I'm sure it or he has a name. Um, but yeah, but that, that's, that's one of their designs. I don't know if it's the reflection, if it's the the sunlight. That the, red is intense. The yeah. paint job on that, to me, looks better than the paint job that you would just get stock out of the box. I think that he's painted this helmet himself because it looks like it's a deep... There's something special going on with that paint, I, I, I feel like. Yeah. Because uh, that's not a helmet that you can just go buy somewhere. These All of these helmets, actually, these helmets were made by travis i'm assuming mm -hmm. um and they started he, he, he probably had either painted them himself had them painted got the decals or made the decals himself or bought them somewhere or maybe he knows somebody uh on the equipment staff uh, that hooked him up with some you know the second helmet here with the stars on it i'm not familiar with that design yeah. but was whether they wore it or not i do not know might be just but, some concept that he came up with yeah or it could be a throwback Nice stuff. I mean, it's beautiful. It's outside. It's well composed, well lit. There's not much I can say about this. I don't know if I would change anything. Oh, I like the one with the with the cock statue oh, in the back. So that's, cool. That's really good. good. Good effort, man. Very nice. nice. And wide. I love my. I love photos nice and wide. You do. I you do. do. Um, Steve, I'm gonna go with a nine point one. Right out of the gate. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Thanks, Travis. Re really nice job, Travis. Next up is Ryan. N and he says, hey y'all, I just finished a couple of hand-painted custom helmets. I wanted to share photos and see if you could uh, put it on one of your video segments. Look um, at this. Cleveland Browns. Yeah. This looks like something that you would see. Actually, we've got an Eagles here too. There's almost like a graffiti look to it that you might see this as a, you know, like a mural on a brick wall of a building or something, right? I think that's exactly right. I mean, they're different for sure. The Eagles one is starts off basic with the typical wings and then the rest is just goodness he's got the liberty bell on there he's got serpents and yeah all sorts of just america and then the dog pound one i really love that color combination well you know i think my take on this is well one i think that these are fantastic i think that the colors he's, he's matched those really well with the color scheme of the teams and uh especially with the the browns helmet the orange in the paint on the helmet matches the orange of the face mask. I don't know if that's a painted face mask or if that's just your regular orange. I, it looks to me like it's just a regular orange it face does, mask, yeah. which I think is great if you can get the color to match perfect like that. I personally like the Browns one much more than the Eagles one. And I think something that's kind of holding the Eagles one back is that the, the Eagles wings are decals instead of paint. And sometimes when you put, when you try and, when you're doing such a unique and kind of upgraded paint job like this, kind of like wearing sneakers to your prom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess there's ways to do it right. Only a couple people can pull it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the artwork on the Eagles one, but I'm not in love with the Eagles one. I'm going to go, Steve, with still giving this an 8.8. .8. 
nice average score between the two of them it deserved that good work all right next up is jacob and here is just a good old field use speed flex that looks like the season has just come to an end well you know there's not much to say about this one because this actually is a legit it's the helmet he used in high school tells a great story uh this is probably in his yard but could be actually at the field itself you've even got a little bit of yellowing in the ratchet strap portion of the chin strap which tells me that this is helmet has been not only used this season but probably oh, yeah. for a couple of seasons maybe more uh but overall you know the design it to me this is just screams high school football and everything comes with that friday night lights the practices the hard work all everything i feel like there was probably a lot of good memories with this helmet and i wouldn't be surprised if it's time to hang it up and retire this yeah and uh i agree i'm sure this is shot in his yard but love the color scheme like that you took it outside and you did it you covered all the bases man you even got the football in there it's all we can yeah. ask for yeah i'm gonna steve on this guy i'm just gonna go with a 6.5 okay I was feeling a seven. Uh, on the helmet. Yeah. Yeah. I you get know, it. But for, you know what? For a basic high school mm -hmm. helmet. Yeah. What are you yeah. going to ask for? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sending it in. Yeah. Next up is Tori. All right, Tori. It says, hey, friends, remember me? Yes, I do. I and don't. you will soon, I too. I stepped up my game a little bit this year. Another concussion-free season for our friend Scully. Wishing the GG team safe and wellness during these crazy times. So... Oh boy! This year he's got a uh, he's got uh, a now now I remember yes got a proper uh, Northern Lights it looks like visor on it this time he's got the chin strap and this time he's got the American flag on the back. <laughs> I really love it. I actually laughed I like out loud when I saw this. Uh, it's so funny. That <laughs> is fantastic. No. So funny. Oh my God! I thought... yeah, and you got you got a visor, you got a custom chin strap, you got the clips. <laughs> I, I know one hundred percent that those face mask clips screws are screwed into oh, the actual pumpkin. Hundred percent. That's just gonna rot in two days. Yep. And oh. I would probably also know that when this pumpkin was getting picked out, he probably took the face mask with him to the. The pumpkin patch. I don't it's, know if it's worth you know giving you a score because in my book it's a nine point nine nine nine. Yeah, it's a, it, it's 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 just right. There you go. Right. <laughs> All right. Next up is Zachary. He put together a little collage. Thank you for that. I really like this face mask, and normally I'm not so much of a fan of this, but this is nicely done. Hmm. I don't know if I like it or not. My Actually, my gut's going to say that I don't like it, but I get why you could. I think this is yeah. going to be one of those polarizing things, Steve. Let's just let's just get on different ends of the spectrum with it. Um, it I like the style. You know, this is a mm -hmm. Z2BDC. Oh, yeah? Yeah, how do you feel about that? God bless you. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Z2BDC, that's the, the old um, Z-Bar Z -bar styles for the... VSR4 Riddell helmets. Uh, I mean, obvi I've... obviously a Miami look, blacked out. We're missing some visor clips. We're missing a vi or something. Right. We're missing some face mask clips on some of them. Uh, I, I no think visor, he might be no showing this, the steps there. I, I guess that that's what you that think? was. I oh. like the funkiness and the weirdness of that of the face mask and how it is the two colors, basically. And hey, man, yeah. it's different. I'm gonna go with a six point nine. Okay, and I know that that's a. You're, you're being... And, and, you know, it's one of those old classic styles. <laughs> which you just... Which I don't like. There's a lot of things on here that, uh, in general, he's he, he got a lot of headwinds. Let's just say that. Right. <laughs> with me, anyway. With you. With your taste, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, next up is Vince. And speaking of polarizing, this is a... Who is this? This is Vince. Vince. I love... The placements of the photos, obviously, in Washington. You, yeah. I don't think you can fake any of that, right? Sid? Not at all. I no. mean, he really went so, through some effort here. <laughs> so, so that's fantastic. It's almost like he, like he took this helmet and carried it around town a little bit. Right? Yeah, yeah. Probably got uh, mixed reactions, too. The gold on the face mask, I love the color. Yes. It's definitely painted, probably spray painted. 
and it matches the decals real nice. It looks like the visor is probably spray painted the same exact color. I think so. Which that's the only thing where I, I, I wouldn't have done that. I would have just put on a tinted visor, but it also looks like it's just one with the face mask. Cause now if you put it on your head, like you, you can't literally see anything. True. So true. That's, that's odd. It was but... a corner that was cut that I think would be better if it was just an actual visor. It, right. 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 But yeah. everything about this helmet screams of this helmet was repurposed. I think he painted the helmet. I think he sanded down the helmet and he, this, is, a, this is probably a field use helmet, maybe a youth helmet that was converted into this from something that I love. Steve, I'm going to go with this guy, a 7.8. 7.8. All right, Vince, nicely yeah, I, done. I, I think there's something about it that I really like. Maybe I can't quite put my finger on it. <laughs> there's something about it I really like. That, that happens, you know. Yeah. Next up is Glenn. This is a very cool looking this is a mini little helmet. guy. That's right. So we got a, a blue chrome face mask on a chrome seattle seahawks helmet i don't know i don't i don't know if this is a helmet that you could have purchased or if this was done I, it because doesn't we, look like anything i've ever seen we've before. also got a mini oakley visor with mini oakley visor clips yeah well there was a, a few years ago there was the chrome series from Adele. I know that there was a mini, a replica, and an authentic. This probably, I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably the Seahawks version. I don't know. We didn't we didn't stock those or sell them. I, I, I'm not too familiar with them. I suspect that this face mask did not come with that, though. I think this face mask um, was added on or bolted on. It's <laughs> not exactly the same Right, a little bit different of a blue. Yeah. That visor though is what kind of trips me out because it is perfectly like to scale, right? Yeah, and you know, and I know that there's some guys out there that are making these mini visors and mini clips Jeez. with 3D printers and, and they got molds and the whole thing really trying to take off the, you know, or, or have the mini helmet upgradable market take, take off. off. We don't work with any of that stuff. But I think it's really cool. It is. It is. I think, and, and, I, and I like it. And I think it's well done. I think the cl the visor clips are a little large. Right. Um, com as far as the scale goes, possibly. But I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, the face masks are a little large. Too, because, yeah. I mean, the, the thickness of the face mask. So they might have to be. Um, overall, though, let's go, Steve, with uh, 8.2. Yeah, because it's hard to do anything mm -hmm. to a mini it's significantly more difficult than just a full sure. size yeah yeah nice work next up is steven hey and he spells it oh. the right way i think that this color setup is so different i it's like an indigo blue and red it's cool. sure yeah carolina blue maybe Ca maybe I, I don't know it looks very i'll say this it looks like unlike um our friend from Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> I think these leaves are here on purpose. I would most certainly <laughs> say so. The, the placement of that large decal is awesome. How it looks like it's taken a bite out of right at the face mask. Yeah, I'm trying, you know, sometimes I, I'm um, speechless for words or have right. a hard time coming out because I'm trying to think to, and I'm trying to look at the whole thing and really kind of take it in before I give an opinion on, any, on anything. Here are the things that I like about it. I like the uh, the red in the visor decals or stickers matching the red in the eye mm -hmm. of the side decal. I too like the blues. I like blue on blue. To yeah. me, you can mix five colors of blue together and it comes out pretty well, which you can't do that with all colors, I don't think. You're right. Um, I also like kind of the placement of the tiger head. Yeah. Whatever. It's a big cat. That cat. The, yeah. the cat head. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just a, it's a good, interesting combination of everything that goes well together. I like the visor clips. You know, he did it the right way by sinking it down a little bit and flipping those clips because they're universal. They can point either way. And he could have gone the other way here and just put the clip attached it to the higher bar. Could have, but I, I, I think I would have done the same thing because I, I like it when it perfectly matches that top bar. And the, the, I'm going to score this one as a field use helmet, Steve. I'm going to give this guy a 7.5. 7.5, all right. Next up, man, and last of the day already. Is that 
This is Cade, and he says, this is my Game Use Speed Flex. It's a youth large speed flex with the Zooty Crusader clear visor and purple film as the pictures are from preseason. That's why there is no stickers or uh, scuffs. Purple film. So, oh, an okay. insert. Insert. Yeah, yeah. So, pretty, I mean, pretty basic. Yep. As yep. far as the helmet goes, you got a white helmet, and you got a white face mask. But... You've got an upgraded face mask for sure. To me, this is all about the face mask and the visor. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, we all know that those face masks, they don't come cheap, and they really are a very, I would call it upgraded look. I really do like the, the, the purple. Is, it's, it's one color on a completely white helmet. Right. A little bit of black here and there. To me, the thing that looks out of place the, or, uh, you know, the one thing that always looks out of place is the, that warning label on the back. Yeah. Um, outside of that, that red Riddell next to the purple on the front, I don't, you know. I know. It would be cool if you could just have it be white. If yeah. it was just white or if there was something else on there that kind of went with the, the scheme. Because now you're adding another color unnecessarily. I mean, the color was already there. It, it is. It, it is what it, it is. is, it is, got, it is yeah. I'm curious to see it all decaled up and everything, because right yeah. now, even the chin strap and the visor clips, like, it's everything is black, white, and purple. So, do mm -hmm. you think the decals are going to play off of that? So, maybe resubmit them. Nope. <laughs> it's going to be just another yep. green or some arbitrary, yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, man. Green and, people, green and purple work. Sure. And hey, cool pictures. It looks like that maybe is your room or something where you line the bottom of your Something's like going on. trim with LEDs. That's kind of cool. I mean, not that that has anything to do with this, but nice pictures as well. Little rabbit ears going on. Yeah. That's on. That's, yeah. that's on by yeah. that's some purpose behind it. But a, another about, field use, man. Yep. For that guy, and again, for a field use, pretty basic preseason, no decals, yep. yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go with a 7.2. Okay. That makes sense. If you didn't make it on this show, don't worry. There's still plenty more coming. Email your pictures, though, to pics at greengridiron.com. Jay and I are happy to do these videos. However, yes. we are going to still wear these masks for quite a while until we know that we won't Unfortunately, yeah. maybe this is just the permanent thing, Steve. Yeah. Well, it's hard for me to take a sip of my coffee I know, I like know. this. I need to think about that before I come in the studio here. <laughs> so listen, we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for sending these in. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.